So in these verses, Krishna is talking about uh, that one should follow one's own nature uh, instead of looking around and see what other people are doing and try to emulate that. Yeah. So he's, in fact, he says one should follow one's own nature with imperfection. That is better as compared to try to follow somebody else's nature with the perfection. Right. Very interesting advice. And it has two components, right? So one is he's saying, you should not try to emulate other people, right? You should not look around and see what other people are doing and try to do that. And he's saying that because if we do that, and he's saying if even if you do this with the perfection, you are not going to feel content and satisfied because you are not aligned with your own nature, right? Uh, and it is very hard to do it in today's world, right? And in in, we are living in a, such an information age that we have so much, you know, external influence. Everybody is telling us, like, look at that, what that person is doing, even from the childhood, right? Look uh, what, how the topper is becoming a topper, so you should emulate that to become the topper. Or now it is more like, look what Mark Zuckerberg is doing, what Elon Musk is doing, try to be like that. Or something else, maybe like what Mother Teresa is doing, trying to be like that, right? So it's, uh, we are living in a culture where it is very prominent. So if you are not, you know, uh, firm about like okay I want to follow my own nature you are going to be influenced by you know what other people are doing uh, social media what other friends are doing and all that kind of stuff right so what Krishna is saying one aspect of uh, the verse <clears throat> is you should not try to emulate other people right it doesn't matter what they are doing it is their own dharma it is their own nature what they are following uh, let them do that right get the inspiration if you want to get the inspiration but don't try to emulate other people yeah and different people have different natures, right? Mother Teresa has a different nature and somebody like Steve Jobs has a, have a different nature and it's better if they follow their own nature, right? It's, it will be disaster if Mother Teresa try to be Steve Jobs or Steve Jobs try to be Mother Teresa, right? It's, uh, so different people have a different nature and it's better if they follow that instead of trying to imitate other people. So that is the one part of uh, uh, verse that you should not try to emulate other people. You should not try to be like other people. Uh, that won't cut it. Yeah. So, and then he says, you should follow your own swadharma with imperfection. You should follow your own nature with imperfection. Yeah. And the word is used. Word is used here is swadharma. Uh, swadharma means more like um, it's made out of two words, swa and dharma. Swa is your own, and dharma is very. Uh, you know, the word can have many meanings, but generally the word has a meaning of uh, nature, right? So it is it is said something like the dharma of the fire is to burn, right? The, the, the fire and the burning is the same, right? So in that sense, uh, it is also like we also have uh, some basic nature, right? And Krishna is saying align your life along, to, along that basic nature, right? Align, align your life with your basic swadharma, right? And uh, how do we find that basic nature, first of all, right? Uh, it is not so easy. It's not so easy because, because we have been conditioned so much uh, from the childhood, right? We have been uh, taught so many things, school, college, influences and, you know, work, environment, culture, whatever we want to say it. But we have been influenced through all this, right? And now we have this sort of uh, script in our head, which tells us, okay, we, I should do this, I should do that. And if we want to understand our own nature, we need to transcend that, right? We need to get out of the script and we need to see what exactly, what kind of person I am, right? And what kind of uh, things that, you know, align with my basic nature, yeah? Uh, so some experimentation is certainly needed and some, you know, some degree of uh, uh, courage, to you know let go of your um, basic script that we are following yeah basic script that is given by the culture around us right and it's interesting and it's subtle like what can be your basic nature what can be your sodharma right now i don't know about other people but if i see because i experimented quite a lot in last few years i could see there are few things which strikes to me very uh, deeply you know uh, so I did many things. For example, I tried uh, meditation and then I also did acting and also did traveling and also many stuff I did. And I could see 
for example the meditation the first time i did it i knew like wow this is something i want to do this is something very aligned with kind of person i am right at the same time when i tried to do acting it was like my god this is something i definitely don't want to do it right so some experimentation is required and then you can see uh, what aligned with you and what doesn't align with you and it's um, it's more experiential right it's not logical or analytical it's more experiential there are things that you will find yourself aligned with and what krishna is saying is better you go in that direction and if you go in that direction you will feel more fulfilled and more content uh, as compared to you know if you try to uh, be the best you know try to <laughs> run the race or something like that you know so interesting advice it requires a lot at least a fair amount of work to you know Uh, figure it out what is my basic nature um, but it's worth it and then the alternative is disaster <laughs> alternative is disaster right because if we try to continue you know try to be some, like somebody else somebody else somebody else uh, and mind has a tendency and we have this uh, uh, system inside ourselves which tries to you know look around other people try to see like what they are doing now i want to be just like them or i want to be you know uh, better than them so there is this uh, innate tendency in us to look around and see what other people are doing and try to emulate that and uh, and and what krishna is say, saying here it won't take you anywhere you know it will lead you into not very satisfactory life you know so it's better to figure out <laughs> your own basic nature with some experimentation some self you know uh, some degree of uh, retrospection and self inquiry and all these kind of things and align your life with that